Hi guys, this is Rusty78609. It is Monday morning, Ju July the 17th, 2017 at about 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm back in Texas, past Vic Fort Stockton. Just had a good night's sleep at a Super Motel 6 that had flies and other things, but I did sleep okay. Anyway, as I'm driving down the highway, I had a wonderful thought, and you're going to love this. And this is, this is what happens when I am left alone for too long. A bug hit my windshield, one of the millions that has hit my windshield on this trip, and it occurred to me how many millions of insects are killed every day by cars driving down the highway. Probably hundreds of millions of insects are killed every day, every day, every day. But on the other side of that coin is how many insect populations have gone extinct well i'm sure there's some but i've never heard of any you know grasshoppers going extinct no flies no gnats no mosquitoes no ants no spiders no but there are animal species that have gone out you know you don't see of course dinosaurs and some kind of uh what was it well, the buffalo are down to almost nothing. And other species have dwindled of, of animals, okay, and fish and birds. But insect populations seem to stay fairly stable. So are they taking over? No, no. <laughs> Ponder that thought. See, that's what happens when I'm left alone out here in West Texas with nothing to do but think. Simp, simp. Uh, anyway, what else is going on guys? I tell you what I've been thinking about too is and I do this quite often is I think about things that will improve my life or make my life more enjoyable because I am 72 years old and three days I'm three days into my 73rd year on this planet and somebody left a, a viewer left a comment that I had been around the Sun 72 times very interesting point very very astute thought so having been around the sun 72 times and starting my 73rd revolution or resolution or around the sun it's exciting I never had thought about it like that that is amazing you realize we are going through space at the speed of about 68,000 miles an hour on a little ball rock I guess you'd say and uh, anyway we're loaded with insects I mean I've killed my share out here driving down the highway and uh, but that is interesting I think insects will inherit the earth are they killed by radiation in other words if we have a nuclear war that we've been threatened with well let's see since I was born you know, the first at atomic bomb was detonated, I think, in 1946, or in that range, and I was born in 1945, and ever since then, it's always been the bomb, the bomb, the bomb. You know, nuclear war is imminent, imminent. You know, they had bomb shelters in my hometown of Kennedy, Texas, when I was five years old. Yeah, they did. We did uh, drills at the high school where we got under our desk, like that was going to help you. <laughs> What the hell is that going to... Never mind. Anyway, just rambling on here. I'm on my way home to my home base in Central Texas. Kind of feel good. I've only got a short... Well, for me, what I call a short drive, five hours. You know, that's around the corner for me now. But, you know, when I got into Fort Stockton yesterday, I'd driven already about five hours. And I thought, should I go ahead and go on home? And the answer is... Well, there was a time I would have gone right on home and got home about 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. yesterday and not had this drive today. However, at age 72 and two days, which I was yesterday, I decided, no, let's just get a good night's sleep and let it go at that. You know, something else, when you're driving on these interstates, you know, the, the, the left lane, of course, is the, the fast lane. In the right lane here that I'm in is the slow lane. Well, not slow, but I mean, the, the slower traffic should always stay on the right side. However, since trucks stay in the right lane, 
this is also the roughest lane okay it's bumpy the other lane however is smooth so every now and then when there's no traffic behind me I move over in the left lane why because it's not near as rough see how it shakes the camera here so having said all that guys what else happened this morning oh uh, I had to reset the settings on my phone for some reason I couldn't access the internet called Verizon and they said to reset the settings and you go to your settings and go into this mode and reset something but anyway it worked I can't imagine how it got it got off but it did and uh, anyway I did upload a couple of videos this morning got a lot of comments and stuff and I may not even upload this video I'm just killing <laughs> I mean the highlight of this one here what insect populations have gone extinct in my lifetime? I don't think there's any. I, I really don't. I don't remember. I don't remember a news headline that said a gnat species known as the Lucellumubas no longer exists, or an ant population of Wapa Wapa Wapas has recently been determined extinct I've never heard that never heard that because ants seem to be real survivors now on the other hand there are bee populations like honeybees are dwindling 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 and so maybe are other bee populations that I'm not sure of now spiders I don't know much about them either so Anyway, this we're out here in the middle of West Texas, and this is a, this stretch of road from Fort Stockton to Ozona, Ozona to where else do I go? Junction, Mason, Lano, then home. But this stretch right here from Fort Stockton to Ozona, Ozona, is like you landed on the planet where there were no people, you know. There's just not much going on out here. Now, if you're into wind power, there's some of that around here. You see the big windmills that generate electricity. Well, anyway, I was, I'm just killing time, guys. Just killing time. And I want to know what insect populations have gone extinct in the last 50 years or in the last 100 or, you know, I have a feeling we don't know. I, you know, I'm not sure we know anything, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I mean, we say we do. We sure spout off a lot like we know a lot of things. You know, we talk about certain animal populations and fish populations that no longer exist. Are we sure? How do we know that? We don't know that. We assume that. Assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Oh, here's something I wanted to tell you, too. That U-Haul right there reminded me of it. I talked to a lady yesterday. She's from Florida. She's about 50 years old. And uh, she was pulling, she was driving. A, it wasn't a U-Haul. It was a, another rental, but it wasn't a U-Haul. And behind it was her car. And uh, she was at the Motel 6, and I was unloading some stuff. She just happened to be outside. And I said, how you doing? She said, well, not all that great. And I said, well, you ill? And she said, no, she just a little tired from driving blah 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 she was coming from california going back to florida and i said well what seems to be the problem and she said well her and her husband moved her and her husband of 28 years moved from florida to california because he took a position there in florida and she also found her a job and a lot the way they went well, they were out in California a little less than a year, and guess what happened? Aha! Uh -huh, you guessed it, huh? Her husband fell in love with a, a, a sweet little young thing, and uh, they fell out of love real quick. You know, she said, she said he completely changed. She said when they got to California, he completely changed. She said she didn't hardly know who he was after a month. And I said, well, what did you notice first? She said, well, what I noticed first 
was his appearance completely changed. Instead of being the shaggy dog she married, he became the well-groomed, well-manicured superhero. And I thought, well, that's a good sign that something's happening. And anyway, it was some little sweet thing at work that uh, he just couldn't resist and uh, didn't. And so she packed her gear and she's headed back to Florida. And I said, well, you know, you know, she's actually driving that U-Haul. She loaded all her stuff herself into that, well, it isn't a U-Haul, it's something else, but we'll call it a U-Haul because we all know what that is. And so she loaded all of her stuff into the U-Haul and uh, loaded, got her a, a tow dolly for her car and she's got it strapped down. She did a good job. I checked it out. I said, did they do this for you? She said, no, I had to pull it home and load the car myself. I said, really? So you did this strapping yourself? She did. And I said, well, I have to tell you, you've done an excellent job. She said, well, they told her what to do. And when she got home, she said she did exactly what they said. And uh, she had the stuff loaded in the back, a little furniture, not much. But you know, here's the really weird part of it. She was pretty. I mean, I'm serious. She was very attractive. And I thought, why would this guy leave her for this young thing? Well, of course, I know why. Uh, the animal sex drive sometimes is overpowering, and it goes both ways, males and females. But interesting story, huh? How about that? So there she was. I saw her leaving this morning. I almost felt sorry for her. I said, when you go back to Florida, you got family there, children or anything? Nope. Just her. her. Her and her husband never had any children. And that could have been a problem too. You know, that could have been an issue. Doesn't matter whose fault it was. But anyway, he fell in love and that was the end of that honeymoon. So what does that have to do with insect populations? Well, you can see how that's totally related. Huh? You can see how those two converge to a exact point. <laughs> I'm completely flipped. What was it? Uh, if we weren't all crazy, we'd go insane. Is there a difference between being crazy and being insane? I don't know. We say these things. We say, well, you're crazy. What does that mean? Does that mean you just do things different? probably so I guess I'm crazy so here we go down the highway and to keep me from being bored to tears I'm doing a video and I'll call it insect population decline and I'll put no insect population extinctions question mark and as a bonus the lady going back to Florida. Now think about it, she's got all that drive with that on her mind. You know, it's. I told her, I said, honey, you just gotta let it go. I said, you know, it's, if, it's, if it's over in your mind, and uh, then let it go, go back to Florida and, and get rolling. You know, don't walk around with a chip on your shoulder and a frown on your face, that ain't gonna get shit. You know, you can forget that. You know, put a smile on your face and a spring in your step, and the next thing you know, you're back on your feet. What's past is past. See, and that, see how that ties in with extinction of insects? What's past is past. You see how that, see how this all blends together into one perfect, perfectly coordinated, edited video. All my videos are just utter perfection, aren't they? I mean, they don't ramble off in several different directions. They all, they appear to, but then they all converge into this brilliant diamond point, and you just, you see it. You see the light, so to speak. <laughs> Woo They're going to bring me a, a long sleeve shirt that ties in the back, right? got a lot of straps on it you ever see a straight jacket see this all it ties into 
uh, I, I've seen one actually. I mean, they were putting it on me, but I did see one one time. Uh, it was at a there's a facility near San Antonio, Texas, where they put mentally retarded people. And when I was going to St. Mary's University, uh, they had an opening there uh, for a part-time accountant. And uh, so I went there to interview, and while I was waiting uh, to be interviewed, the one of the uh, administrators uh, decided they'd show me a little bit of the facility while I was there waiting for my appointment. And I thought, well, that's okay. So we did, we went around, yeah, I got to see a straight jacket. They actually put them in them. And you ain't getting out of it. Yeah, and you're not going to hurt anybody unless you bite them because you can't move your arms, you move your feet. But having said that, guys, this is Rusty78609 pondering the insect extinctions since the, for, for the last hundred years. Anyway, guys, enjoy your day. I'm enjoying mine. I look forward to doing more videos and enjoying this adventure of life 72 years and three days old so thumbs up guys carpe diem adios bye bye buy usa made when you can drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day will not hurt you you may pee pee like a racehorse or a two or a three peckered possum but you will feel a hell of a lot better and you will avoid gout and possibly kidney stones so do it uh, take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Why? Because, because it relieves stress and that lowers your blood pressure and lowering your blood pressure, as everybody knows, is good for you because it's good for your heart. What else? Stretch, walk, eat decent food when you can or as you should all the time. Don't eat out too much. Eat less. You know, just generally eat less. You know, we need about half of what we consume, even me, and I don't eat much. But having said that, guys, from out here in West Texas, USA, near Fort Lancaster, which is nine miles, oops, wrong, it's open nine to five p.m. at the next right. Have you ever been to Fort Lancaster? Huh? Uh-huh. I have. Not much there, actually. Just an old fort. Adios, guys. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day.